So let's begin with regular expressions. So regular expressions are essentially a succinct way of expressing the, the set of words that are in the regular language. So typical uh, methods of expressing sets are by enumerating the different words in the set, that is by expressing a set S as a list of items and another way is by specifying it in roster form that is that you have a word and the word satisfies some criteria so you have some criteria here. the regular expression is another way of expressing this set of words so what is a regular expression a regular expression is any one of the following it's either a single symbol from the alphabet sigma, it's an empty string epsilon, or it's phi, that means it's no string, the set is empty, or if R1 and R2 are two regular expressions, then R1 union R2, that is the set of words in R1 and the set of words in R2, or the words in R1 concatenated with some word in R2, or R1 star r1 star star here is the clean closure so it is either the empty string or some set of words concatenated together such that the words are in r1 so any of these will be regular expressions let's look at some examples and see what they are so let's start with the first one so the first one is zero star zero star means star indicating here that you have uh, the possibility of having the empty string Right, so let's express it as the empty string or you have a single zero or two zeros that is zero can be repeated multiple times and so on. So this in essentially indicates strings of zero or more zeros. Right? 1 plus plus indicates either uh, so, okay so, so the difference between plus and star let's begin with that so star would indicate that epsilon is definitely present that means that you can have an empty string where you have zero or more occurrences of whatever is mentioned as the regular expression however here the regular expression is 1 and it is uh, it is encapsulated in a plus Right, it's enveloped in plus. So that means that you cannot have epsilon. You cannot have zero occurrences of one. So one plus indicates that at least one occurrence has to occur. So you have one followed by one one followed by three ones and so on. Right. So there has to be at least a single symbol uh, in the set. They cannot be zero symbols. You cannot have epsilon. Uh, where plus is concerned. Sigma star here means any string with its letters, symbols chosen from the alphabet sigma. Here sigma, let's take sigma to be a and b. So for sigma equal to the set a, b, okay, sigma star becomes epsilon because of the clean closure, a, b, and any combination of A's and B's. So you can have AA, AB, BA, BB, and so on. Zero star, one zero star. So zero is a single regular expression of a single symbol, star indicating zero or more occurrences of the symbol zero, followed by exactly uh, one symbol one. Followed by zero more occurrences of zero. So it is a string with exactly one one. Sigma star one sigma star simply indicates that you have at least a single one encapsulated by zero or more occurrences of any of the letters or symbols in the alphabet. So this can be 1, 
if both sides are epsilon or 0 1 where from sigma star we choose to put a 0 1 is present here and from the second sigma star we choose the empty string epsilon 1 0 the reverse we choose epsilon from sigma star and 0 from sigma star or 0 1 0 or 1 1 1 and so on and so forth. 0 1 star indicates that the first symbol must be a 0 followed by any number of 1s, 0 or more. So your first symbol must be a 0 followed by nothing, possibly epsilon, followed by a single 1, followed by two ones, followed by three ones, and so on. 0 1 star. So let's so, so this let's let's look at it in two stages. So 0 1 star is essentially the set of strings as described here. The whole star will add epsilon to the entire set. Right? So you have epsilon, then you can have a single occurrence of 0 1 star that is exactly this set. You can have 0 1, 0 1, 1, 0 1, 1, 1 and so on or two occurrences of 0 1 star so you can have 0 1, 0 followed by nothing followed by 0 0 followed by 1 followed by a 0 right so this 0 1 is the first occurrence of 0 1 star and this 0 is from the second occurrence 0 1 1 0 again this is from the first 0 1 0 1 all right and so on sigma sigma the whole star indicates that you must have a single sigma a single uh, symbol from sigma in the first place and in the second place another symbol from sigma that encapsulated by the clean closure indicates that you have uh, a string that is a multiple of 2. So you can have the empty string because it is encapsulated by a star or you can have two symbols which could be anything assuming 0 1 is the alphabet right? or four symbols. The next example the first part indicates that you start and end with a 0. In the middle you can have anything. You can have zeros or 1s in any combination either 0 or more. But you start and end with a 0. So this is one particular language. It is separated with the rest by a union. The second language expressed is 1 followed by any number of symbols followed by a 1. So the combination of the two is all strings such that they either start and end with a 0 or they start and end with a 1. In addition to such strings, we can also have a single 0 or a single 1. Okay, So some examples would be 0, 1. So we get 0 from this regular expression, we get 1 from this regular expression. If we choose a string from the regular expression 1 sigma star 1, we can get 1 1, 1 0, 0 1, 1 1 1 and so on. Such that the beginning and the ending are 1. Similarly, you can have for 0, sigma star 0, we have 0 0 or 0 1 0 and so on. All right. Our next example is 1 plus. So 1 plus as we have seen above is essentially hi okay. 1 plus is essentially one or more occurrences of the symbol 1. So it can be also written as it's equivalent to writing 1 followed by 1 star. So you have a compulsory single one followed by zero or more ones. 
which is the same as writing one star followed by a one. Zero or epsilon followed by zero or more occurrences of one indicates that in the beginning you can have a zero possibly you may have nothing as well followed by zero or more occurrences of one so what would this be this would be the set epsilon by choosing epsilon from the first part and epsilon from the second part or a single one or zero followed by the single one right so in this case we chose epsilon from the first part in this case we chose zero from the first part two ones or zero followed by two ones and so on one star phi so anything any regular expression concatenated with phi the empty set is the empty set right phi the whole star is the single string which has no symbols that is epsilon so phi star the clean closure is epsilon okay phi in itself accepts no strings but phi star accept, accepts epsilon 